I got an email yesterday from Snap EDA about a new Windows tool they have that allows you to search for parts and the tool integrates those parts into either KiCad or uh, Eagle or Altium Design. So I thought I would show you today in this little quick tip that it's available and what it does in case uh, you might find that interesting. In the um, description below will be a link so that you can go and download the tool. You do need an account. Um, I don't think you need an account to download it, but um, and I don't even think you need an account to search, but to, to download the actual footprints and schematic symbols, you do need uh, an account. So let's go ahead and take a look at this real quick. Um, I already have it. I've installed it already. Um, I'll show you how it works. I'm going to disconnect it from KiCad. I've already connected it to see that it actually works. So it gives you a choice of these three packages to integrate with. When you connect with whatever you want, at least in the case of KiCad, it comes up, up and asks you which version. At this time, all it has is this one um, application name. You cl click connect and uh, it works basically. I'm assuming it looks in the registry for some kind of pathing information. Um, <clears throat> as you can see, I looked for a part a few minutes ago. So let's go, we'll go search parts. You click search, it comes up. We'll choose um, a surface mount part. So this is just an op amp. In fact, it's already in the KiCad library. I just want to show you how this works. So if you go back for just a second before you add it, I think you can go and, oh, you can't. I was gonna say you can go and look at the actual part without just downloading it. That should be available. Oh, that's disappointing. <clears throat> you should be able to look at the part. And I'm right clicking and I'm left clicking just to see um, more about it before you, you click on it. You know, you want to see this. So that's pretty disappointing. Um, I'm looking over here to make sure I'm not missing anything. Um, at the very least, it could open it, uh, my browser and go to that part uh, if they don't have the display code uh, in this application. Let me just make sure. I'm right-clicking over here. Uh, no, I mean, that's disappointing. So this is going to have to assume that you actually know that this is the part you need. And maybe you've already gone on the website. In fact, let me flip over. Go to Snap EDA. Oops, sorry. Go to Snap EDA. <clears throat> and let's look for the same part. And I'll show you what's available. So let's type in LM358. You can skip ahead if you've used this before. You know, here's the uh, surface mount part. Let me see if it matches that. That's the P. So, oh, that's interesting. LM358P in a DIP8 package with the wrong graphic. Um, that's the P, probably. That's doesn't look right to me. Um, so, let's choose the next one down, which is the MX. So, that looks correct and a sock there you go so if we click this I assume anywhere on this line you actually are, are taken into more detailed information about that and that's what I thought would come up in the Windows application it, it should at the very least it should open your browser so <clears throat> obviously they have some work to do on the application um, so yeah so it shows you the symbol it shows you the footprint um, it shows you obviously a generic um, part there. Let's see what else it does. Uh, normally it has pricing. It recommends related parts. You click pricing and it goes through and shows you pricing. It's, it's actually a really great site. I use it. Uh, I, I actually look here before I go and just whip out a symbol and a footprint uh, myself. And you can also download the footprint and the symbol and then manually install it so what the application is doing is trying to make it easier for you to install um, the files for the schematic for the for the symbol and the footprint into your application so I guess once you've decided yes this is the part you go back over 
I want, we decided the MX. It says it's downloading it. Um, do you want to add it? Yes, I do. And then what it does is, this is kind of weird. It opens PCB new, but the truth is, is it's not open to project or anything. If you go to their website and read about the KiCad integration, it says that it opens PCB new because it's the only one that, uh, it's the only tool in the tool chain that um, has an exposed API and they can open it. I don't know why it's worth opening at all. You don't actually have to do anything. In fact, I'm just going to close it. Um, they should make that an option. I'm going to go over to, to KiCad. I actually have a project that I'm working on, which I'm going to talk to you guys about later. I'm now going to look for that uh, LM358 uh, part. Do we have the MX? That's funny. So we have probably these generic footprints. Neither one of these appear to have been from. Huh. I bet I have to close this. Probably even close. Let's see. Let's go to the symbol editor. Let's look for there. It might be a, a caching issue. 358. Okay, so what do we have here? No, I don't see the MX. So what I'm going to do is close this, close this. I'm going to go back. I'm going to open Kai KiCad. That should have reopened it. I'm going to go back to the simple editor. <clears throat> now it's reloading it. Let's see if it's in there. It is. So that's interesting. So, so at least in my opinion, popping PCB new is useless. And if you already have a project open, that kind of sucks because then you have to close it and reload everything. But there's the part. So it does exist. <laughs> it, it did work. Um, I don't know. Maybe there are some technical issues that make it have to just be that way. I don't know. But there's the part. So we should then be able to add that part. as a surface mount part. Let's go ahead and just save it. Uh, let's just, cr oh, let's go ahead and uh, give every part an annotation. Um, we might have to assign that part first. <clears throat> I don't want to go through electrical testing and everything is going to fail. Why is it going to fail? Because I just put a part on my schematic and don't have it wired up and I don't want it wired up. By the way, this is, uh, I'm running 5.9 something, 5.9.10. I think there's another one out. Um, there's the MX there. It says it's from the Snap EDA library. Um, in fact, yep, it's already labeled, it's already connected the part in. Um, there we go. There's your footprint. Let's go ahead and close it. Let's go ahead and generate a net list. And let's go over to the PCB new. <clears throat> I will drag in this net list. And let's say keep existing. That should work and I won't save it. Okay, and then there's that new part right there, right there. Uh, if we take a look at it with 3D viewer, So it's just that, it's just the footprint. Okay. So there you go. So there's obviously some issues that still need to be re resolved with it. Um, in particular, opening the PCB new doesn't seem that helpful unless I'm missing something, which I absolutely could be. Um, if you already have a library, a keycad open, you're going to have to close it. It looks like, unless there's probably a refresh. I don't know if that would have done it. No, that, 
that's the project tree, but there might be a, a refresh for the footprints uh, and the schematics. I don't know. Um, but anyway, it's their first version of the tool. Snap EDA can make your job a lot easier. Uh, by the way, I have no affiliation with them whatsoever. I just, it's one of the many sites that I use to try to make my life a little bit easier. Anyway, I hope you found this helpful. Remember, learn something new every day and take care.